Check, check. Production, learning by working on musical production. Production, like a stove, turn the heat up. Turn the heat up. Write the code, cook a beat up. Cook a beat up. It's not plain, this is deluxe. Programming and we're jamming and we're getting to the crux. Stay focused on a coding mission. Break it down into parts like an algorithm. Whether up tempo or slow jam. In the process, learning how to program. Music and code might seem resembling. This funky beat I'm rocking to the evidence. Making full use of technology. Gotta be creative, innovative. That's the policy. I wrote a song about it. There it go. If you didn't know before, well now you know. Science might have had an interest, but they hesitated. Cause it seemed like everything was just too complicated. Or else maybe they thought it was boring. Either way, they didn't think that it was worth exploring. You can get with the program. Code beats, make jams, this is the way we simplify the complex. Put concepts like loops in context. Coding can be intimidating, not always inviting. Code beats, making it a little more exciting. Who would have thought you could write songs with Python and make a difference and have an impact like icons? Take what's usually a calm, quiet activity, turn it into beats for everyone in the vicinity to listen to, become a fan, pump 
up up the jam created by computing and executing commands you get it with the program code beats make jams music and tech this is the crossroads like a wise man told me everybody gotta have a code Hey, hey, how y'all doing? This is Dave. I'm just testing, testing, one, two. We are going to start in a little while.
Welcome everybody, please take your seats. We're at the corner where music and technology meet. Computer coding and introduction. Learn it by working on musical production. Production. Like a stove, turn the heat up. Turn the heat up. Write the code, cook a beat up. Cook a beat up. It's not plain, this is deluxe. Programming and we're jamming and we're getting to the cross. Stay focused on a coding mission. Break it down into parts like an algorithm. Whether up tempo or slow jam. In the process, learning how to program. Music and code might seem resemblance. This funky beat I'm rocking to the evidence. Making full use of technology. Gotta be creative, innovative, that's the policy. I wrote a song about it, there it go. If you didn't know before, well now you know. Science might have had an interest, but they hesitated. Cause it seemed like everything was just too complicated. Or else maybe they thought it was boring. Either way, they didn't think that it was worth exploring. You get with the program. Code beats, make jams, this is the way we simplify the complex. Put concepts like loops and context. Coding can be intimidating, not always inviting. Code beats, making it a little more exciting. Who would have thought you could write songs with Python and make a difference and have an impact like icons? 
take what's usually a calm, quiet activity, turn it into beats for everyone in the vicinity to listen to, become a fan, pump up the jam, created by computing and executing commands. You get with the program. Code beats, make jams, music and tech. This is the crossroads. Like a wise man told me, everybody gotta have a code. Hello, everybody. Hope y'all are having a great day, and welcome to Code Beats. Code Beats. Code Beats. Code Beats. Code Beats. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, everybody. Please take your seats. We're at the corner where music and technology meet. Computer coding and introduction. Learn it by working on musical production. Production. Like a stove, turn the heat up. Turn the heat up. Write the code, cook a beat up. Cook a beat up. It's not plain, this is deluxe Programming and we're jamming and we're getting to the crux Stay focused on a coding mission Break it down into parts like an algorithm Whether up tempo or slow jam In the process, learning how to program Music and code might seem resemblance This funky beat I'm rocking to the evidence Making full use of technology Gotta be creative, innovative, that's the policy I wrote a song about it, there it go If you didn't know before, well now you know Alright, I hope y'all are doing great Thanks for joining me on this random Wednesday night in the summer. Um, for those of you that don't know, maybe you're new to Code Beats, maybe you're a parent and you have you didn't attend the camp, so you don't know what's going on quite yet. Um, this is Code Beats. One thing that you're going to want to do if you want to participate in our uh, Code Beats exhibition, it's kind of a competition, but it's more of an exhibition because we're going to just be looking at everybody's beats today. Uh, you're going to want to join Minty, okay? If you have a phone, a computer, a tablet, whatever, go to minty.com and enter in the code 4427-8464. How do I know that code? Have I memorized it? No. It is right here at the top of the screen. Do you guys and gals see that right here at the top of the screen? 4427-8464. I'm also going to take that link and copy it right there so I can give it to you. Hopefully that's going to work. Yep, there's a link right in the chat too. So, hope you all have got it. Now, what we want to do today is... <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to just have a, uh, a friendly exhibition slash competition, okay? Um, and before I get started with that, I do want to mention this... This set of classes that I had this summer, uh, I was really, really proud of what y'all were able to learn over the course of this summer. All right. So I was really, really proud. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a little brighter, getting a little uh, feedback from the peanut gallery here. Thank y'all. Feel free to let me know if you can't see me that well. I'm trying to make it better. This is my first time using this. Um, streaming platform, so I'm trying out a new thing. Anyway, 
Um, I'm really, really proud of the the students in this class. Y'all did a great job. Uh, Y'all made it really far in terms of learning stuff. Um, there were some really good beats in terms of code and in terms of music. Um, you know, you really just took it further than we've been able to take it in previous times. So great job to everybody that participated. Um, and I just, I just appreciate that. It's, it was excellent. All right. Uh, without further ado, what we're going to do here is we're going to play tracks. Uh, we're going to play three tracks in a row. Um, and then we'll, after that, we're going to vote on our favorite track out of these three tracks. Now, remember, um, we want to kind of build each other up. This is not a kind of competition where we're trying to play cutthroat or anything like that. So if you like a track while you're hearing it, don't wait until the voting. I want you to go ahead and get in there and in the chat, I want you to say what you think about it, why you think it's awesome, you know, things that you admire in the code, how it makes you feel whatever uh we want to build each other up we want to have a good time and you know you can vote for as many people as you want um you know use all the tablets that you have uh, the voting part is fun don't take it too seriously if your beat doesn't get too many votes if i made a beat my beat wouldn't get too many votes either so don't worry about it too much okay we're just here to have fun all right without further ado let's start listening to a few beats now our first beat here which I'm dragging on over to the screen. I want you all to be able to see these beats. Uh, comes to us from an anonymous source. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you now. Here we go. Check it out. So very nice beat. That's going to be anonymous when we get to the voting part. Um, as you can see, this person, I just showed you their track view, but they had a lot of really interesting and good code here. They're using for loops, using rest and different parameters. Um, and so this is a really nice beat. Our next beat is going to be by Abby, DJ Abby. I'm going to pull that one onto our screen here. Here we go. All right. And... We're going to play this one. I hope you enjoy Abby's beat. Here we go. Amazing, uh, great work. Abby might be the uh, daughter of a musician, as you could probably tell. And let's listen to our next one. The next one is by DJ Guinea Puff. Guinea Puff, I think is how you would say that. Check it out. DJ Guinea Puff. Here we go. Uh, let me make sure I'm playing this from the right place. All right, here we go. you to notice there's an especially nice clap track in there great work first one first beat was anonymous second beat was abby third beat was guinea puff i want you all to get in there and give us some votes and make sure in the chat well, after you vote in the chat i want you to go ahead and make some comments about why you voted for the ones you voted for these are all really great um make sure that everybody gets a vote i want to see anonymous get a vote there too come on you people vote for everybody and uh, I would just really appreciate if y'all would continue to get those comments rolling in. I'm having trouble watching all the screens here. Um, but let us know how you feel about it. And, uh, you know, 
which one you think is awesome, okay? Yeah, these are really good. I see we are getting some really some really great votes, some really great uh, comments here in the chat. I'm trying to watch everything at once here. I'm almost keeping up. All right, it seems like of this particular grouping, it looks like we had lots of great beats, but it looks like um, Abby's beat is gonna be our winner for this one. So let's just take a quick listen one more time to Abby's beat. Here we go. Excellent work. All of y'all did excellent work. This is a really strong grouping. Thank you again uh, for participating. Anonymous, Abby, and Guinea Puff. Excellent work. All right, next up, uh, we're going to start out with a DJ called Our Fastest Fox, a.k.a. Grayson. All right, let's check it out. We are switching to the this tab, taking a minute for this to all render, and here we go. Check out this beat. Let us know in the comments how this makes you feel. You see how we have things building up over time there. We're going to look at a couple code elements in this one in just a minute. All right. Great beat. Next up, we got, let's pull it up right here, DJ Laura Lai. And we're going to play that one from the tracks tab. Here we go. Let's check it out. This is Laura Lai. Awesome, and I want to point out just a few things here. This had a lot of cool code in it. Let's just take a look. You can see we're using for loops. We're using arrays with notes in them. Um, we're using lots of different parameters here. Um, what I want to say about this one is just uh, DJ Lorelei here seemed to know what they were doing with code. Okay, using all kinds of different things. You know, here there are chords defined, um, and that different use of different things like arrays and for loops and um, parameters and all these different things is really what helps make a good and sophisticated beat. All right, cool. Next up, uh, we are going to go ahead and listen to this one. And this one is by Lexi and her friend. Lexi and her friend. And this one we're going to play from right here. Here we go. All right, check it out. All right, and for this one, 
what I want you to notice here is this group, they followed, you know, a lot of the rules that we put out there. The beat is relatively simple, but it's still a good beat, okay? So what I really like about and appreciate about this one is it's just a good, clean sounding beat, all right? So again, we have uh, this one right here. Let's kind of get deeper into it so you can remember what this one's like. And that's going to be Grayson, a.k.a. our fastest fox. Then we got Lorelei. Uh, let's go back to the tracks view of that. Remember, a lot of sophisticated coding going on there. And then here we have Lexi and her friend with a good, simple, clean beat. And that's what we're going to be voting for here. Here we go. Round two. Grayson, a.k.a. Our Fastest Fox, Lorelei, Lexi and her friend. Get your votes in, but also make sure you're commenting in the um, chat on why you like different ones, what makes it an interesting beat for you. Uh, make sure we give everybody some votes there. And, you know, just kind of we're building each other up here. We're just saying, hey, we like this about it. We like that about it. And in that way, we can kind of learn from each other, okay? And so I'm just giving you all a minute to get your votes in. Uh, again, these are just really, I'm really happy with the beats that y'all came up with. We had a lot of great beats, both in terms of code and in terms of um, kind of the musical bent. In fact, several beats were <laughs> so complicated uh, that me, as a only kind of an amateur musician, I am not sure I could fully understand or analyze everything that's going on meaning that they are probably these kids who are in middle school are already making beats that are more complicated than something that I could make myself. So that's great work. All right. It looks like uh, Grayson is our winner for this round. Way to go, Grayson. But great work, Lorelai and Lexi and her friend. Y'all did excellent work too. All right. R again, really pleased with all of these beats that y'all had in this class. Next up, we have a returning, uh, a returning person who has done a great job, Has was featured on the first album that we had. Uh, this is Bennett, DJ Bennett, and we're going to listen to his beat right here. Here you go. Check it out. Great work, Bennett. And I want to mention just for this one in particular, just look at the visuals for this one and you'll see kind of the really good structure that we have, like regular structure and kind of what makes this such a clean, interesting sounding song. Uh, we'll look at the code maybe in a minute, but really nice. You can see the code when the code is visualized like this in this track view. Yeah, you really can see why it sounds good the way it does. All right, next up we have... DJ Blade, and as I'm dragging that over here, this is DJ Blade, and we're gonna play that from the tracks view. Check it out. Here we go. Awesome. So we have uh, Bennett up first, Blade up second, and now we have one more for this round. And this is, uh, let me pull this one down for you. This is DJ Nathandal, Nathaniel, and we're going to listen to this one from the tracks view. Here we go, Nathaniel.
All right, all right. I'd like, we're gonna look into the code into that one a little bit later, but you can see some, some of these are getting really complicated in terms of code, which is really cool, showing what we have three, four loops here going on um, to make it just a little more complex, uh, really, in terms of code. All right, so we have Bennett up first, just a reminder. A very clean sounding beat, uh, really well structured there, love it. And then here we got this cool uh, like little melody going on here, and this is Nathaniel. Oop, I'm sorry, I told you that. <laughs> this is actually, uh, I'm sorry, this is Blade. Let me start that again so you don't get confused. This is Blade with the little All right, and then finally, this last one is Nathaniel with the complex code here. Let me make sure I'm playing it from the right space. Here we go. Uh, I'll start it maybe like right here. All right, so we are voting for Bennett, Blade, and Nathaniel here. Bennett, Blade, and Nathaniel, and remember, in addition to voting, I want y'all to make sure that you're telling these people, different people, why you like their beats, uh, concrete feedback on things that you might change. Uh, again, I was very happy with all of the beats that we had in this competition. Y'all should all be very proud of yourself. Great work. And I'll give y'all just another couple seconds to get in your votes, but I think, uh, you know, it's no surprise we had uh, somebody that has come to Code Beats before and killed it before, and of course killed it again this time. It's Bennett. Check it out. Very cool beat with a nice melody on top here. Some of these I could probably listen to on my drive home. So these are great. Thank y'all again for these great work. All right, now we're coming into to round four. We have a total of eight and a half rounds here. Uh, so we're getting through these nice at a nice speed, but here we go. This is round four. Um, I want to tell you something a little more detailed after this, but this is round four. This is going to be DJ Eloise. And let's pull that right up here. DJ Eloise, we are going to be playing from the code tab. Check it out. Here we go. Excellent. DJ Eloise. All right, next up we got Boss Fight. Boss Fight is coming at us. Some of these I'm hearing for the first time, and I, again, I'm really uh, impressed with a lot of these. Y'all did a great job. Oops, hold on. Sorry, this one I'm going to play from the tracks view. That's why that didn't make as much sense. Here we go. This one is Boss Fight. gonna be a hard round I can tell that was boss fight first one was Eloise and this is our third one and this is gonna be cloudy okay cloudy let's check it out here we go and I'm playing this one from the tracks view let's check it see if you can find the beat before it drops
know who to vote for this round. This is ridiculous. All right, that first one was Eloise. Play that one more time from the code. Cool. Next one was Boss Fight. Here we go. Slow building one. And the third one was, I'm going to start from here. So, and the third one was Cloudy. All right, that's going to be hard. I cannot guess who's going to win here. Eloise, Boss Fight, and Cloudy. Let me know which one you like best. Those are all amazing. <coughs> Probably better than I could do. Now, as you're voting, I want to mention... Uh, later on in the year, in September, we are going to be having a uh, very special guest visit Richmond. Uh, this is a guy that works for Google and has made um, some really cool music tools with machine learning. And he's going to be coming to Richmond, and we're probably going to have some kind of advanced code beats kind of classes or workshops. Um, so I want you all to keep your eyes open for that. Of course, we're going to email you. Uh, but that's coming, I think it's like mid-September. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that. There's going to be another chance to just have like, you know, a, a night of, uh, of fun coding and learning from this guy and uh, a little insight into <laughs> what it's like to work from Google, work for Google. All right. It looks like Eloise is going to be our winner from this group. Let's listen to that one more time. Really nice beat. Awesome. Great work, Eloise. All right. Next up, we have group number five, and our first beat is going to be from Henry Weber. Henry Weber, let's check it out. Here we go. I'm going to play that from the tracks view. That was Henry Weber. Next up, we got Manning. Manning is next up. Let's get that over there. And this one is going to be played also from the tracks view. Now, you've heard me mention playing from the tracks versus the code view. The tracks view is the one that allows you to kind of lay out your code, lay out your tracks, and play them only at certain times. <coughs> Here we go. talent shows coming up at your school these are really cool again that was manning uh really great work let's listen to the final one in this group uh, check it out and this one is from dj me and it's going to be played from the tracks view here we go Oh, 
All right, these are awesome. Excellent work. That one had like a very different vibe, but it was still really cool. And I really like that wah, 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 wah bass sound that we had there. All right, just to go over who we had this time, the first one we had was Henry Weber. Second one we had was Manning. The third one we had was me. All right, I want y'all to get your votes in. That was Henry Weber, Manning, and me. Get your votes in. Make your comments on which sounds you like and stuff. Henry Weber, Manning, and me. Very cool. Many, all of those beats were excellent again. So get your votes in, and once you vote, go ahead and either get your third or fourth device and vote, or go ahead and describe in the chat, again, what you think is cool about it, um, which instrument you like the best, etc. This one is going to be tight, so I'm going to give you all a few more seconds in case you want to go grab your third or fourth phone to get your vote in. It's getting pretty tight between Henry Weber and Manning. But it looks like you all might have run out of devices. And we're going to have to call it Way to Go, Manning. That was excellent beat. <laughs> Very cool. All right, y'all did a great job on that. Fantastic. All right, next up, this is round number six. This is DJ Q&A. Pulling it up. Let's listen to this one. Q&A and this one we're going to play from the tracks. Here we go. Very cool, uh, like a piano vibe there. Love it. Q and A. Next up, we got Ben Beats. Pulling it up here, and maybe might be a repeat. Let's check it. Yeah, okay, so this one's a repeat. I don't know how this one got on there twice, so we're just going to ignore that one. That was Ben Beats. <laughs> uh, you already had a shot at Ben Beats, and it was awesome. Now, the next one is, right after Ben Beats, is DJ Exclusive. DJ Exclusive. Here we go. And a DJ Exclusive from the code. Ooh, listen to that hi-hat. And how many times that hi-hat? Woo. Love it. Look how many times that hi-hat is hitting in there. That's great. That's like really good stylistically, right, for some of these kind of beats. Love it. All right. So for this one, we have Q&A. We have uh, exclusive. All right, let's get those votes in. Uh, Q and A and exclusive. Remember, we already got you, Ben Beats. Sorry, uh, we put you on there twice. A Q and A and exclusive. Let's get those votes in, and let's just give these uh, authors some comments. 
let you let us know what you think about them. Again, really impressed with what y'all are doing uh, stylistically as well as just with the code. This is going to be tight. This is really tight. So it's kind of a matter of taste, I'd say, more than like goodness of the beat because those are both really cool, but they're just different. It looks like we have, might have more hip hop fans than we do kind of like, uh, you know, 50s. 50s rock fans or whatever that kind of vibe was but they were both great beats it looks like exclusive is going to be our winner excellent work y'all let's put here that just for a second more listen for the hi-hat very nice very nice but both of y'all did a great job uh-oh it's tied so i'm gonna have to play the q a as well Great work, y'all. So that brings us to the end of round six. We're now on to round seven. We are going to start off with Cluxity, <laughs> DJ Cluxity. And let's go ahead and get that one right on over here. Cluxity, and they are playing from the tracks view. Let's hear it. Cluxity. Next one is West Coast. DJ West Coast. No, West Coast Player. I didn't see the end of it. West Coast Player. I can uh, guess who that really is. All right, check it out. West Coast Player. Let's wait for that to catch up with this code. Here we go. Really interesting sounds used there. Know what that is a snap. A little syncopation. All right, but I want to hear that beginning again because it has some really interesting drum play there. All right, that was West Coast. Very cool. Next up is Better Than Drake. <laughs> I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, here we go. This one is Better Than Drake, and we're going to hear it from the Tracks tab. This one has a bunch of stuff going down, so let's give it a minute to go ahead and... All right. I think it's fully rendered. Here we go. Drake's bad. He's trash. The baby's also trash. Trash. Bad. Got some samples in this one. Breaks bad. Breaks bad. All right, so we started off with Cluxity. We had West Coast Playa. And we had some commentary on Drake. Drake's bad. <laughs> All right, so get in there. I want to see your votes for round seven. We're only going to uh, eight and a half, round eight and a half. So get those votes in. Flux City, West Coast, and Better Than Drake. As always, let us know in the, in the chat what you like about these different ones. Hmm, looks like we, we're having some uh, Flux City's taking our early lead. West Coast coming back. Better Than Drake coming back. But Flux City, Flux City was a pretty good beat. Must say. All right, and it looks like nobody's going to catch up. We'll give you all just another couple seconds to get your votes in, but I think we have Cluxity 
It's going to be our champion of this round. Let's listen to just for one more time. Now remember, y'all, these these people only had four classes, really. They did this on the fifth class. So they had four classes to learn what they were doing, and they did this on the fifth class. That is pretty impressive, in my opinion. Great work, y'all. All right, next up. This is going to be round eight. We got Larry Cat 2000. Larry Cat 2000. Here we go. Let me close this other tab. Sorry about that. Larry Cat 2000. Play it from the tracks tab. And. Right, that's Larry Cat 2000. Next up, we got Bro Adventures. Bro Adventures. Here it is. Coming at you in just a second. Bro Adventures, and we're going to play this from the tracks tab too. All right, all right. Woo! Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, and next up, we got DJ Luke. Let's check it out. DJ Luke, what are you going to give to us from the tracks? Here we go. Mm -hmm. 